it's that time of year again and I have the September 2015 NPD results and of course that will include the latest shots fired in the battle between the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. However, let's begin with game revenues which took a beating last month as people were spending less on hardware but it's most likely just because people are waiting for any holiday deals which are definitely going to be coming for both systems. Now customers still spent an impressive $1.01 billion on new games and hardware at US retailers in September, however that is down 9% from $1.10 billion last year. Both hardware and software suffered some erosion and only accessories such as say Amiibo and Skylanders actually grew. Now more specifically talking about hardware, sales were down 27% from $431.2 million to $313.5 million. Game sales themselves dropped about 3% from 480.6 to 465.6. Now, this was always going to be a tough comparison as of course September last year was a very hot month indeed, especially with the release of Destiny and that game has largely been recognised as a convincer for a lot of people to upgrade to either the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. However, it isn't all bad news according to the MPD analyst Liam Callahan, who said that hardware sales are trending up when you look at month over month numbers. And he said, quote, the majority of hardware platforms increased their sales from August 2015 to September 2015 when comparing sales on a per week basis. All 8th generation consoles, which includes PS4, Xbox One and Wii U, experienced double digit growth when comparing sales on a per week basis. Now, you guys should know this by now if you've been watching these MPD results videos for a while, um, but just to reiterate, just in case you're new or whatever, these MPD only track US retail sales, so no EU or elsewhere outside of the US and no digital. It's in-store only, so do keep that in mind. As for the hardware, after 23 months on the market combined, combined rather, PS4 and Xbox One sales are 40% higher than the combined 23 months totals for PS3 and 360. And even with the rather steep year-over-year -year decline, MPD Group sounds like, well, there's nothing really to be concerned about, and Callahan finished up by saying, quote, September 2015 hardware sales dropped by 23% due to a difficult comparison to the strong sales of September 2014, which were supported by the launch of Activision's Destiny. Now that's the last of MPD's info, but now I have a couple of statements just to round things off from Sony and Microsoft now. They unfortunately haven't offered any hard figures, but we do know who quote unquote won September 2015, but we all know it's a longer battle, but I'm sure you've been wondering. Sony's statement goes as such, quote, as we kick off the holiday season, we would like to take a moment to thank fans for making PS4 the best selling console and number one in software sales in September. PS4 was the number one console for NBA 2K16, Madden NFL 16, Metal Gear Solid 5, Phantom Pain and FIFA 16. Including the highly successful limited edition console bundle, PS4 also led retail sales for Destiny The Taken King. So once again the PS4 has beaten the Xbox One, however, the Xbox One is catching up and it has been maintaining a strong momentum, so the fact that the PS4 has beaten it is not the whole story. Now, I have a little bit of a statement here from Mike Nichols, who is Corporate Vice President of Xbox Marketing, who said, quote, Xbox One continued to see strong momentum in September on the heels of Forza of Motorsport 6 and FIFA 16, with solid year-over-year -year growth in console sales and a strong engagement on Xbox Live. He then went to point out that, of course, this Christmas lineup coming up has to be one of the strongest, with Halo 5 Guardians coming up the Xbox One, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Timed Exclusive, Fallout 4, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and Star Wars Battlefront. Now yes, those last three are multi-platform, but they are still going to be big releases regardless of your choice of platform. So yes, the PS4 beat the Xbox One, however, the Xbox One is catching up, momentum is gathering behind that Steam machine, which is good for everybody. No one wants a curb stomp, competition breeds innovation, and if Sony and Microsoft are head to head the whole way through this console generation, that will just inspire them to challenge each other more, which is something that can benefit all of us when we perhaps get better hardware for the next generation, or even improvements to the current ones. Regardless of all that though, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time.